Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you how to use the Grid Builder, which is a very powerful feature of the WP Bakery plugin. Whether you're looking to create custom post grids, archive pages, portfolio layouts or media galleries, WP Bakery Grid Builder makes it super easy and intuitive. So, in this video I'll guide you through creating and customizing your grid layouts. So you can find the grid builder if you go to your WordPress dashboard, hover over WP Bakery page builder and click on grid builder. Click on add new post. And this is the grid builder. If you've ever used the WP Bakery backend editor, you're kind of familiar with, with the layout. The only difference is that with this, you customize one item of the grid. I'll explain it in more details when we get to the more practical part, but let me just show you some examples of the grid. So in WP Bakery, you can make media grids and post grids. So this is the basic media grid, which is just images. There are multiple templates with uh, multiple hover options. So these will display your images. There's also your usual post grid that will display posts. And again, you can customize it however you want, and I will show it all to you. But before we do that, uh, again, <laughs> one other thing that I wanted to preface is that um, you have post grid and media grid available and also masonry, post grid and media grid. So the basic grid will have a fixed size while the masonry grid will not. It will make this interesting uh, layout that looks really, really nice, obviously, depending on your layout. But know that there's a difference and that is it. Fixed size, no fixed size. Now that we got that out of the way, the front end editor works hand in hand with the grid builder. So this is the front end editor and I just uh, created this quick one page website for a uh, like an artist gallery maybe something multimedia something <laughs> page um and here i left a space for a gallery and a little space for their blog post uh, archive page what like their process is or something and a little footer so let's start by adding let's write grid and here media grid as you remember Regular media grid, you can see in the icons here, and a masonry grid, the sizing. Let's add the media grid. Okay, let's add uh, the images. Um, two, three, four, five, six, for example. Okay, and these are the things that you can adjust from the editor. Some display styles, how many elements per grid, uh, the column gap and uh, some loading options. And then if you want to add some CSS, then these options here as well. But we're, what we're more interested in today is the grid element template. So this particular element by default has the media grid default template, which is just this, just images displaying here. But there are so many more available. If we, so for example, this, they will usually have some sort of a hover option right here. Um, you can also use other templates that are not for media grid per se, but let's just stick with the default and then design options as always. So a regular media grid, nothing happening. What you can do here is you can create a whole new template or you can modify selected. Let's click on that option because now you have a visual representation of the whole, of how the whole grid looks. So let's click on that. And that will bring us to the grid builder. Um, basic, basic grid update, for example. Okay. Doesn't look that different from an empty media grid, but it's actually hiding all of the information from this little element right here. So for the whole, oh, so this is what we're adjusting. 
one single item. So here you can see that there's already a selected height and uh, the image size is adjusted. And that's more or less it because this was the most basic media grid, right? So what you can do here is this item is divided into three rows. So that means you can add something to the top, middle and bottom, obviously. So, and you can change uh, how many columns you have in these rows. For example, you want to show the author of that particular image on the image. You can do that right here. You can add a text block, um, icon separator, all these things, and also some dynamic elements, which would be, for example, post title. So then if you choose this option, you put post author, you can adjust this text. You can use custom fonts, regular design options. And here you can adjust uh, the text, for example, 30 pixels, we do, we do know white. Here you'll be able to choose between all available Google fonts. Um, bam, 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 uh, bold. So now let's update. Let's go back to our page, update and refresh this one too. Go down and here, choose the template that we just created. And now it pulled the title of the image as the post author. This one was, oh, there was one ugly one, but here in the media library, you can add the title, which in this case, I added the, uh, the creator of the image. So that will be the author and it will be pulled dynamically. So if you change the title, um, here in the media library for the image, it will always um, adjust it right there and you won't have to do a single thing. Okay, that was pretty simple and straightforward, but what if you want the title to appear on hover? Let's go back. We can go back to the grid builder and here you can choose hover animations. So. When it's no animation, it will be just this. But if you choose any of the animations, let's say fade in, you will see that now there's a hover tab that has opened. And this is where uh, the fun begins, in my opinion. Let's say we do the same thing. We do author, <laughs> custom font 30, um, and, and, and. Let's delete this one. Let's go back to the editor, refresh. And now, and I chose post author instead of the title, <laughs> which is me, which is me. And then it will pull the author of this page. But you know what I mean? Uh, you would have, you actually should have chosen the post title. So you can play around with the effects, with the hover effects and, uh, and yeah, have some fun. Other elements that you can add are, for example, yeah, as I showed you before, a, a button, an icon, a, um, pretty way is usually the, I like the, the icon route, you can add, uh, you can add a little, a little icon, uh, you know, something like that. And again, see how it looks. Yeah. And just again, and you can just experiment and I encourage it <laughs> as well. Okay. Um, let's move on to the post grid. Um, let's add again, a basic post grid right here. And this is how it looks by default. Um, it has a, oh, I'll show you in the grid builder. This is the, this is the template basic grid default. And again, there are multiple that you can choose from. 
and all of these can be adjusted. Every single one of these templates. Um, so again, scroll, just scroll through these and uh, we can jump back into the grid builder. um post grid update and let's see what we can do so what you can see from this template is that it utilizes this bottom area that is not technically the grid item um you can only do one either one on either side um this this time it will be the bottom right here um, and again, these two elements, they will pull information dynamically from the post that you added right here. Um, so I have three posts. Again, um, you can add a some sort of hover element. I didn't even mention that you see all of the templates here as well, if you want to change them here. Um, so let's say on hover, Again, I want to uh, add the post title, center, custom fonts, M30, white. Okay. Under it, in the same column, in the middle, I want the excerpt, excerpt of the post. And for example, we need a button here as well. You can add a link to it, obviously. Uh, read more. We can choose the button style round. Choose, uh, choose the same color as we had in the layout. Lime center. Okay. Oh, here we go. Let's go back to our page. And change the template to the one we just created. That was post grid update. And here's our new grid. You can play around endlessly here. Um, so what I would do here, I would probably add a little bit of a darker background to this whole grid item. Um, so the text would be visible better. And you can adjust the settings for, again, for the whole item right here. So let's say on hover in the design options, we do a background color and we do a sheer background color. Update. As always, back, p p p p p p p, and here we go. Uh, this needs a little bit of adjusting, <laughs> but I hope you get the gist of it. Okay, and that is the grid builder. Um, remember to experiment, try things out, try all of the effects. Maybe scroll through all of the grid styles. And remember, you are just a, the single item in the grid. Um, and you can adjust everything in the grid right here, everything in the hover state right here. And that is it. Your only limit is your imagination here at this point. <laughs> so uh, I hope you try out the grid builder and create some beautiful, beautiful grids. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.